Hi, my name is Joey Garcia. My story is about my dog, Jake, a Labrador retriever. The story is called Rescue Me. More than a decade has passed since the 2007 global economic crisis ripped one friend from me and delivered another. That year, a jobless friend died by suicide, and Jake, his nine-month-old Labrador retriever puppy, needed a home. If you can't take Jake, he'll go to a shelter, my friend's brother said. At the time, I lived with two cats, Rudy, a 17-pound Norwegian forest cat adopted from a city shelter, and Faith, a six-pound Siamese mix from a rescue organization. My cats don't want a dog, I said, but agreed to foster Jake for two weeks. I dragged Jake's doghouse to my backyard, tucked a cushion inside, and called him over. He scampered away, whimpering. Faith and Rudy sauntered into the doghouse and curled up for a nap. The cats sleep in the doghouse. The dog sleeps in my house. Who's smarter? I joked to friends. Rudy, Faith, and Jake were all smart, although Jake was also clearly troubled. On walks, strangers pointed at his tightly scrunched forehead and said he looked anxious. If I left him alone in the backyard for even five minutes, he would wail as though he was being tortured. I finally realized that Jake, an indoor dog, had been left alone in my friend's backyard during the tragedy and for nearly 48 hours afterwards. I adopted Jake and never again left him alone in the backyard. Jake accompanied me when I counseled at-risk teens. He often interrupted sessions by walking to the couch where the teen sat and placing a paw on the teen's knee. What followed next often felt miraculous. Once a boy acknowledged committing a serious act that a classmate had accused him of more than a year prior and that he had previously denied. Other teens opened up about bullying or drug use. During a session in which a boy claimed that no one cared about him, Jake dropped a dog toy into the teen's lap, then jumped on the couch next to the boy, who began to sob. It was as though, having been through his own heartbreak, Jake could sense the moment my clients most needed comfort and support. Jake companioned me through 2020 when mandated shutdowns resulted in the loss of 75% of my income. He sat at my feet while I launched a new career. My first dog and best friend, Jake passed away in July 2021.